Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel. You are welcome. If this is the first time you have seen me the first time, you're coming across my channel. God bless you. On this channel, we share the word of God. I give you prophetic words and prophetic declarations as the Lord lays it in my heart and as he gives me utterance. I also come on life twice every day as God gives me grace so we can pray and believe God for the things he has promised to us and so we can hear the mind of God through the word of God hallelujah thank you so much for becoming a part of this family I pray this journey is a beautiful one in Jesus name amen God says you made a mistake you made a mistake and this is why I was just studying the Bible and I came across this place and it spoke to me powerfully Mark chapter 12 and verse 24 Mark chapter 12 and verse 24 Jesus speaking Jesus answered and said to them are you not therefore mistaken because you do not know the scriptures nor the power of God are you not therefore mistaken because you do not know the scripture and the power of God? Another Bible version says you, you err because you do not know the scripture and the power of God. That is why you've made a mistake. You do not know what is in the provision of God for you. That is why you can settle for less. You do not know the power of God in your life. That is why you could settle for less. When I heard this word, it, 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 it hurt me so badly because I have been a victim. I have been a victim. I have settled for less because and until maybe somebody came and preached to me or by the mercy of God, I opened the Bible and I saw what I was entitled to and I had to weep and ask God for mercy. I felt like there were some certain things I could not do or there were some certain things that, you know, it, I was wrote like it was not for people like me. The Bible says, ye are gods and children of the Most High. The Bible says, ask and I'll give the nations to you. It means there is nothing that you can ask God and he would not give you. There is nothing, especially if it is in accordance to his will. If it is in the pathway of his purpose for you. If it is in the will of God for your life. There is nothing you would ask God that he would not give you. But you know, we make mistakes, we settle for less because we do not know the scriptures. We don't know what is in here for us. The Bible, the Bible says that, and Jesus opened the Bible and found what was written of him. So he could be able to perform to his full capacity because he knew the scriptures and he knew the power of God. Somebody get back to the scriptures, get back to the word of God and you will discover his power in Jesus name. Amen.